Okay, I'm opening up a brand new Unity project and I'm going to show you how to add audio sound effects and music in the easiest way possible. One thing you'll see I've got here is a script called Audio Manager. I'm going to open that up and don't worry about copying it. There's a paste bin link in the description of this video and that's got all the code that you need. But I will quickly walk you through this Audio Manager so you know exactly what's going on. We've got a sound type enum here. That basically covers all the different types of audio that you'll need and we'll use these to assign sound clips. So for every sound effect that you want to have in your game, you'll want to add a value here to the sound type enum. We've then got a class called sound. This is where we'll assign sound clips to the sound type. We've then got a singleton of our audio manager, which will assign in the awake function. This is so we can easily tell the audio manager to play a sound effect from any other script. Now we've got two collections. We've got a public sound array called All Sounds. This is something that you'll assign in the inspector. Here you'll add all the different sound effects that you want to have in your game. We've then got a private dictionary, which will reference when we're wanting to play a sound. This is set up in the awake function all for us, using the All Sounds array. We've got another function here called play, which takes a sound type. So what we do here is we check the sound dictionary to see if we've actually got a sound stored for that type. If we don't, then we just show a little warning and we return. Otherwise, that means that we do have a sound. So we create a new game object and we add an audio source. Audio sources are components which Unity uses to allow us to play sounds. We then assign the clip, we assign the volume and we tell the audio source to play. The last line here destroys that game object after the clip has finished playing. This will keep our scene nice and clean. So we're now going to come back into Unity and we'll add a new game object. Then we'll add that audio manager script to that game object. And you'll see this all sounds collection that we can start adding to. So I'm just going to add some sounds. I'm going to assign the type and then I'm going to add a little clip. And these can be whatever sound effects that you want. MP3 and WAV files work really well. So I've added some sounds into my audio manager here, which you'll see on the right hand side. I'm just going to quickly add another script which will allow me to play a sound effect when I press a key. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm just trying to demonstrate how you can play sound effects from any script. So I've added these very basic lines, which is just going to play some sound effects when I press these keys. The important bit you'll want to note here is that we reference the audio manager script, then the instance, which is our singleton, then we're calling that play method that we had implemented and we're passing in a sound type. Now you can use this line of code anywhere in your code where you want to play a sound effect. So it might be when your player takes damage, when you do an attack, when you jump, or even when you click a button. It can work anywhere. So I'm just going back into Unity. I'm creating another empty game object and I'm adding that input manager so that it's in my scene. Now I'll press the specified keys and you'll hear the audio. But now what if you want to add music? Well, I've got you covered. You'll see I've updated my sound types to have two music values, music menu and music battle. We've got a private audio source variable. This is so that we just have one single audio source responsible for playing music. And we've got a new method called change music, which pretty much just plays music the same way that we play sound effects, but we're setting it to loop and we're not destroying the game object. Now this is just for me to show you, I've updated my input manager to play the music instead of the sound effects from before. So again, let's just go back into Unity. I've got a couple of songs here from the YouTube audio library so that nobody reports me to the police. I'm going to assign those values in my audio manager again, just like we did last time. Now we'll play and call the change music method. So there you go, now we can easily play sound effects and we can change our music. Like I said before, you'll find a paste bin link in the description with all the code that I've went over here. And if you found this useful, consider giving the video a wee like, massively appreciate it. Cheers for watching, I'll see you soon.